Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Megacraft. Today we are going to be doing something really quickly over at Mario's base to kickstart this episode. Uh, but first, I need to grab some stuff from my base before we do that. Uh, so at the time of recording this lovely episode of Megacraft, um, it is currently Mario's birthday, IRL. So, due to, you know, IRL events, I can't actually do anything to really celebrate his birthday in the real world. So, oh, he, did he make his tunnel wider? I swear he made it wider. Anyway, to celebrate his birthday, I'm going to leave him a gift. Currently, he is not on the server. I'm going to go hit it. I have some stuff in my... I'm in I'm gonna build a giant cake in his base. I'm gonna use granite for the cake, and then I'm gonna use diorite for the icing. And I have fence posts and candle for the uh, fence posts and torches for the candles. Uh, where's the exit to this place? Ooh, is this concrete? This is concrete. He's been busy then. If he's building a base out of concrete, uh, where's the where, where's he gonna see this at? That's what I wanna know. Um. I don't want to terraform anything because I don't I don't know what's what around here. No, I'll leave it up here. But it's not going to be nothing too impressive. Just going to be a, basically a Minecraft cake, roughly. Um. But yeah, and then I'm going to put some gifts in it. You know, uh, some pretty basic stuff. You know, I'm going to put some rockets. I'm going to put some iron there. Stuff that I have farms for that I'm pretty sure he does not have anything to get it easy access anyway. Probably could get it all with a bit of farming and whatnot, but hey, why not make his life easier? Uh, I would chuck an elytra in here, but I don't have any. As previously stated, I'm currently on my last elytra. And then I'm going to leave some shulker boxes and whatnot in there. But uh, I'm going to get this built and then we'll show you guys the final product. Alright, so with a bit of careful selection, this is what I'm giving him for a birthday present. Uh, we have two stacks of iron, four emerald blocks, four stacks of slime, two mending books, two sponges for some reason, a conduit, a trident, uh, enough shulker shells for four boxes, two stacks of rockets, and a trident. I, I say that's a pretty good Minecraft gift. The only thing that can make it better is an elytra, which I cannot provide, sadly. Otherwise, I would. Um, yeah. Uh, all that's left is for Mario to come find this. Hopefully, you can tell this is a cake. I hope he can. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so, let's go back to the base and go actually discuss what we are doing today. Alright, so before we move on from cake building, first things first, uh, I have a quick clip, couple clips actually, of me showing around the two newest members of the server, um, Felix and Drudgeon. They've joined us here on Megacraft, and uh, yeah, here's a clip of me giving them a couple bit of touring around the server, mostly a shopping district in my base though. But yeah, go ahead and watch that for a bit while I do some trading. <laughs> Felix says we have summoned the British man. Felix, you, you've broken. Yeah, yeah, come here, right here. <laughs> there you go. Yep. We now have the deep. Yes. I hope you guys have your settings to where the people of the tube can hear me, or else this is a very awkward conversation I'm having um, right now. I'm pretty sure. I know you do. Sure. I don't know about Felix though. Are you sharing? Are you sharing your? He said, "If you go to like your party." Like party screen, and then uh, go to party settings, and then allow your voice to be shared. If those are on, is, then this it is, is not now on. on. Uh, so right. The first couple cool, seconds cool, cool. of this was very awkward. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> nice it's cape, fine. Nice I'll, just, I'll just say it all again. <laughs> yeah, now uh, we have some in the British man. Now I fell. Good job, Sean. So, uh, yes, welcome to Megacraft, British man and deep voice man. Hello. Yes. <laughs> I can confirm, this he is, has the deepest voice of everyone is, on the server. This is the spawn island, from yes. what I know. How do I- how do I- Thank you, Dredgen, for giving me the tour. How do I leave? <laughs> Through this lovely portal right here. That I right, cool. really set up. Um, where would you guys like to head for a shopping district? Uh, uh, sure. 
where you can spend all your diamonds in one day and get them all back in a day. <laughs> ah. I'm sure. Okay. Do I hate gambling? Uh, I mean... we're making a gaming district so soon. Uh, where where is know. exit? Oh, rip. <laughs> <laughs> I just walk and I see Dredge tumble. Immediately falls. <laughs> Um, Sounds like you me. know what, when we get to the shopping district, I'll hook you all up with some iron armor. I don't have much time in my stuff, so. But I can hook I picked you up, up with this some thing off the floor. What thing? This is, is this a wart hog? Ow! I don't, I have a bow with no arrows, so I can't really take care of that. Uh, I think I might die here. <laughs> Try to lie. No! I'm coming back I to save I think you. I might, I think I might die, man. I can't get I'm back up. <laughs> I'll kill it for you. Thanks. I have slain the beast. Follow me. Uh, oh, no, you don't have an get trip. back on the thing. Yeah. I also don't have like blocks. Like... Oh shit! <laughs> Did you just about <laughs> die, Felix? You good, Felix? Felix just about walked off a hole. Anyway, up here is the main Nether hub area. This is okay. the central hub that's gonna have tunnels stretching out of it sometime soon. Oh wait, bushes still damage you. I thought there was that. Oh no. Anyway, when you guys Holy would like to berries. come. <laughs> yeah, make sure you close the fence gate. We don't want anything to get out. <laughs> yeah, let's maybe close it after you've come in. Now come inside here. <laughs> I'm really close? worried <gasps> about like <gasps> the conditions. Okay, this is not so bad. This is okay. Oh no, don't make it worse, because then they're going to be bred <laughs> towards you, by the way. Don't make it worse. Oh yes, this is yes. intended. Uh, <laughs> I want fox them... babies. One of them has a flower in its mouth. One of them has cobblestone in its mouth. <laughs> this is the power of Alright, now that I have finished up my trading, you guys have watched the wonderful clip of me showing Dredgen and Felix around the ways of Megacraft. We can actually get on to the meat of this episode. <laughs> um, so, there's a couple things that I want to get done in this episode. If they don't get done, they don't get done. But hopefully they actually get done. One thing that I would like to get done is to actually build up the area around the end portal. Um, currently, as it stands, the area around the end portal is very boring, very just eh. That looks nice. A lot of people also don't know where that is. We're gonna also set up another portal there today. Don't ask why I'm wasting that because I really don't know. But um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna do that. Um, let's see, what else are we going to do today? Um, let me think. Make sure I don't say the wrong thing like an idiot. Um, we're also gonna be building a melon and pumpkin farm today. And then uh, we're building a shop today. We're doing three things today. Those are the core three things. If we do anything else, that's what happens and they happen. Um, but the main things that we're going to do today is build up the end portal area, make it look nice and cool, and then we're going to also go ahead and build a new shop, and what was the other thing, what was the other thing? I don't remember what the other thing is, but it'll come back to me after I rewatch the footage. Uh, sorry, my brain is very spacey today. But um, yeah, we're going to get some couple things done today, so let's go ahead. Let's go over to the end portal area and I'll kind of share with you guys what I plan on doing. Alright, so with some time spent designing this room, I think I'm done. Now, this doesn't go as deep as I would want. It's going to go in Megacraft. It's only three layers of gl glass. Um, each color of glass is probably going to be three layers. I used light gray for the base, dark gray for the middle, and black for the top. Um, so in total, there's going to be nine layers of glass going down. Hopefully that will give me the effect that I want. The walls across the glass are also going to be made out of concrete. And that's about the only changes that will be made when I build this on Megacraft. Otherwise, I think I did pretty good. Um, my choice of lighting was end rods, and I just kind of made them look floaty. I think that was a good choice. I'm going to say that was a good choice. I like it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section, but I think I did a pretty good job at this. Alright, so a bit of time later, and I've actually finished this, and I'm happy with the way it looks. Um, for some reason, I I, 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 meant, I messed up with the glass placement, but I don't feel like changing it. 
Uh, the roof is a bit lower than I thought it was going to be at first, but I'm okay with the way it looks. I'm happy with it, you know? And that's what matters. Like, it's a nice room. Um, I might make it bigger at some point. For the sake of, yeah. Um, as I said before, I'm going to do some off-camera work on this. I'm going to make an area right above the portal. It's going to go up like 20 blocks and then turn into like a reverse pyramid type deal. Um, but yeah, uh, as of right now, all I have left to do is connect up this portal. Then we're done. Yay! Progress, and it looks nice. Like, I genuinely think this looks nice. I'm happy with the way this looks. But yeah, anyway. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, link up the portal, make a pathway slash tunnel to it, and then we're on to the next thing on the list of things to do. So, a little bit of work later, and I went ahead and designed my slime shop. I went with a couple different ideas first, and then I just settled on, you know, basically the same thing that I did with the shulker shop, just building the mob, and putting the shop inside of it. So that's what we've done. I made this floor, floor to be slime. That way I could also hide sea lanterns underneath it. Just because I thought that would be an interesting light choice. Um, and then just a slime. The door is in its mouth for some reason. But uh, I think it turned out pretty well. I'm happy with it. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and build this over on the Megacraft server, shall we?
Alrighty then. A little bit of time later, and I do mean quite a little bit. It only took me like, what, 10 ish minutes to build this? Um, so now that we have this done, we can actually go ahead and stock it up. I am gonna need a chest for that. So we're gonna just go ahead and fly over here, honestly, and just mine down a tree real quick. Um, and then once we have that done, we can go ahead and build us up a double chest. Yeah, let's go with a double chest. Uh, I'm not going to be selling this, this uh, unless this ends up making me a ton of diamonds. Uh, I'm not going to be selling too much slime at one time. Uh, I'm going to sell it 16 for a diamond. So if you want 16 slime, you got to pay a diamond. It's all centered. I don't like it. Yeah, nothing I can do about it. Um, so let's go ahead real quick. We're going to convert slime to diamonds. I had slime to slime. Alright, now that we got that done. Alright, so using a birch sign, we're going to go ahead and post our lovely, lovely price in here. Uh, 16 slime for one diamond which is the lovely currency of most of my shops 16 slime for a diamond I think that's a pretty fair price uh, considering the efficiency of my farm it is not the most efficient thing I have to I, I don't even think I've ever gotten a full double chest of slime out of it yet um, but I know I definitely don't need all the slime that I get from it so that's why I'm making the shop will it stay stocked up probably not uh, once it's sold out it might stay sold out for quite a while but we'll see. We shall see. For now, though, it's nice. It's stocked up for all those uh, lovely people of the Megacraft server. Feel free. Come here. Get some slime. You know, go a quick little screenshot, too, for the sake of self-promoting my shop in our lovely Discord. Um, Alright, so now that we have this done, we have one last job to do, and that is to build our lovely melon and pumpkin farm. Uh, I'm going to take some time. I'm going to go ahead and build this myself completely unique design totally <laughs> uh, well I say unique but uh, let's put it this way I'm gonna take the time to actually design this myself anyway um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll go ahead and I'll show it to you and then we can build it in the industrial district all right a little bit of time later and by a little bit I mean like yeah probably about five ten ish minutes I came up with a very basic design for a melon and pumpkin farm Basically what happens is the observers detect the update that the melons have grown, sends a signal through this repeater, then to this redstone dust, then to the pistons above, pistons break it, minecart picks it up, dun dun dun, works with pumpkins and melons, and we're good. Um, it is completely tileable, and I could really, if I wanted to, if, you, if it worked a little bit more like Java, I could probably take this a good, good long while out of that direction. Or that direction, either way. Um, technically, I could also set another set of them right there. Um, the idea that I have for Megacraft, though, at the moment, is I'm going to have a system just like this. Except on left, we'll have melons. Right, we'll have pumpkins or whichever one ends up getting done. Um, and then it will just stretch the distance as far as I really can to where the minecart will still be moving and I can AFK it. Um, yeah, we're gonna stretch it as far as we can, and that would be our melon and pumpkin farm. Right now, I do have, uh, the tick updates sped up, that's why the pumpkins are growing so fast, I just did it to make sure the concept worked. Um, as far as the speed of which these guys are gonna be growing, well, <laughs> that will be due up to an AFK test on the server. But, let's go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and take the time to build this, which is gonna take a while, because I'm gonna have to get the observers built but I'll get it done shouldn't take me too long I hope I'll see you guys when it's done because I'm not gonna do any updates for this all right about 20 15 ish minutes later I have actually finished this the minecart system is very inefficient I know I could have made it better by taking out this middle bit and just having it go back and forth back and forth back and forth uh, the reason I don't have it is just a straight line uh, going that way um, back 
and forth and, uh, is because sometimes, uh, I saw while testing this in creative, sometimes the melons will end up right next to the observers instead of over here, and the minecart can't pick it up, so I just had it go across both blocks. I probably should have just had it go this way instead of that way, and it'll word snake pattern because it is a bit slow and I fear it will get stuck. It's a bit of a fear I have. Um, if it does get stuck though, I can always fix it. Um, kind of just make myself more work in the future there. But I'll worry about that and then I'll redo the minecarts at another time just because at the moment, honestly, I just kind of want to get that done. Uh, right now, all that's left to do is to A, expand it when the time does come. Uh, that's probably when I'll end up uh, doing the minecarts diff doing the minecarts differently. Uh, the reason it is the size that it is, is just due to the fact that I don't have a whole ton of redstone resources, and I went with what I had, um, using the lowest number to be the one that judged how many it would be. Um, but yes, anyway, so now the current plan of action is to get some bone meal, which I know where to go grab some real quick. Um... We're going to get some bone meal, and then bone meal up all the melons and pumpkins to where they're fully grown. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and AFK test this thing. But that, you guys can find out about in the next episode of Megacraft, because guess what? It's the end of the episode! That's right. Um, this episode's honestly been really amazing. We've gotten a lot done. We've gotten the slime shop opened. We've got, and, uh, what else did we do? What else did we do? Oh, we got the end portal room built. We introduced, uh, Felix and Dredge into the server. Um, let's see here. What else did we do? Did we do anything else? No, we, oh, wait, we made Mario his birthday cake. Um, other than that, though, we haven't really done anything else, but I'm happy with what we got done. Um, next episode should be pretty amazing. I have a rough idea of what we're going to do in the next episode. Some of it involves a bit of work on that base, because we haven't done a whole lot of that recently. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of ideas for what is going to be held up in the next episode. Uh, there's also some server changes. Uh, there's going to be an episode dedicated to administrating the server. Uh, for those of you who do not know, I am the staff member of the Megacraft server. I keep the server running and whatnot. Um, so, I am here soon adding some more jobs for me to do basically um i have discovered that resource packs and behavior packs can actually work on realms and i'm going to be looking into that to figure out how to get some on here so that we can have things like mob heads player heads one player sleeping etc um yeah hopefully that won't take too long to get situated um but yeah anyway that's where i'm going to end off this video i hope you guys enjoy and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.